uh, you too. Thanks for joining me again on uh, my videos. Just want to show you the um, antenna I've made just recently. I've made a few. This is one of the last ones I made. It's a Yagi 2 meter antenna for transceiver radio. Um, what I've used is uh, copper enamel wire, very thin wire, and attached it to both ends of this frame I've made. And um, what I've used is some elastic on each end. I find it easier to use that to tune in with. Um, you know, I used it today on my radio and I received some uh, some guy on, on there from about eight, nine miles away. Um, he couldn't hear me, unfortunately. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because the wire is too thin or whether I didn't have it half off, off the floor. Um, the middle driver uh, wire, which is split into two, which I've drilled through here and it comes, I don't know, focus on it, comes in through there and out through the screw and attached to the outer core and the inner core goes to the top. That's my um, driver. Um, I've got my director this side. Again, it's just one not complete piece. That one is 104 centimetres long. And my uh, reflector, which also is this side here, is um, 104, that's 104 centimetres long. The other one's the driver, is 93 centimetres long. And the middle one, I started off at uh, 98.7 centimetres long. When I tuned in with the SWR down to almost 1.1, that was end up at 895 centimetres long. That's 895 millimetres, so I say. Um, so I had it set up right. I say this guy I could hear him loud and clear, but he could not hear me um, at all. So he knew I was keying the mic, if you did say that. He could hear me keying the mic, but he couldn't hear what I was saying at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these wires with this very thick um, copper insulated wire. Probably better. Uh, focus on it. Um, its core is um, not stranded core, but well, it is stranded. It's about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of copper wire in there. It made it six centimeters, six millimeters in a in a core size. So, I wonder in fact, will give me a, a better signal out or receive as well. So, I'd like to have someone to comment on this, please. Let me know what you think of this other wire I should be using. Um, yeah, so there you go. It's a wired Yagi antenna. Um, just want to show what I've been doing. Ta da for now. Just before I let you go, I thought I'd show you this I made last week. This is an um, inverted V 11 metre antenna. Uh, there's the top up there. I've got it secured to my roof. Um, I've earthed that as well to the mains earth of the house. It comes down. There's my insulator that side and the other insulator this side. And this is the same thickness wire I showed just now, the brown wire. And this is the area I used and picked up on that 2 metre transceiver radio. Um, and someone could hear me on it. And that's what's got me involved with the 2 metre radio wave. Um, but this is, yeah, so this, this was designed for 11 metre. I've got it all going around to my garden there. Fire a rope and the same on this side as well. Um, couldn't really get much on the 11 meter band radio of this aerial for some strange reason. Um, so I'll show that as well, anyway, guys. Okay, cheers.